look, I'm not here to tell you, you have to have any kind of Zoom room, you have to have any kind of equipment, you have to have any kind of look. For me, it helps me to get into my performance headspace for teaching, to have a certain look. That's part of what makes it work for me. If you wanna do anything like what I did, I'm making this video to show you what I did, and you can decide. I'm sure you can do it better. You, maybe you can do it cheaper, maybe you can do a better job with more money. This is what I did with under $300 and a couple of hours of futzing around. This is the space. Basically, I've got 48 inches from my camera to my green screen. Uh, you can see that I'm just kind of crammed in here. It's not gonna be a big luxurious space in real life, but the truth is looking what I see when I see myself up on the screen, I actually feel like I'm in a bigger space. It makes me happier about my situation. Uh, what I'm gonna just describe is the camera, the microphone, the lights, the green screen, and that's it. I started with the camera. Uh, I don't know how important it is to spend how much. This is basically the one I got. I actually got one that's a little bit more expensive because they were out of this one. Um, it's a lot better than the one on my laptop. I like having it not on the laptop. I feel like I get a better look from it. So this is about $169. I chose this microphone. It's supposedly got a directional element so you don't hear the kids partying outside and the other noises around. It's uh, about $57, currently unavailable, but I'm sure there's one just like it. It's kind of cute, it looks like this. And uh, I get a better sound from it than I would, again, using the thing on my laptop. Big thing is the green screen. You can use a green screen, but if you don't have a green screen, it's not gonna look as good. People don't realize how easy this is. $22, it's just a big piece of fabric and you hang it on the wall. This is it, this is the green screen. It's a curtain hanging on the wall. Took down a couple pictures, put a couple nails in the wall and I hung this up. Key thing is just getting the right distance so you can fill it all up with the green thing. Again, for me, that's about 48 inches. What kind of background you want to use, you really use whatever you want. It doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, I prefer to have something that just gives me a feeling, again, like this sets the mood of the thing. I mean, this is like your basic black. It goes along with about a half a dozen black t-shirts that I got. And it's sort of sophisticated and professional, if you like, I don't know. You know, it's you can just grab your preferred environment. I use this for like office type meetings, soothing, natural environment, exotic environment super kind of bare bones, technical looking environment, gritty. I use this for talking to grad students or whatever. You can have a lot of different kind of lights, you know, the big issue, even if you're not doing anything else, like having some decent lights makes a huge difference. If they're too harsh, it's weird. If they're coming from behind you, it's, it's, uh, it's like distracting and hard to see. I got two of these uh, clamp lights and uh, I just kind of clamped one on each side. So they're sitting over here and I kind of play around with how much I want it to shine on me versus away from me. Try and just not have a lot of shadows and clip them onto anything. I also have one overhead light and one lamp. So I got four lights in here all together and I try to just have a kind of balanced look. Now I did put these uh, diffusion paper things over them. It kind of softens it a little. $21, I only used one sheet, which I cut up into four sections for my four lights. So that was pretty easy. So that's my setup. To me, it makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel like I'm at work. It puts me in a little bit of a performance space. Uh, you absolutely don't have to do this. I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm not making fun of you if you don't have to do this. I'm not saying everybody has room to do this. I've got four feet by six feet to spare in a room with a door that closes. I'm really lucky. And this is what I've done. If it helps, that's great. If you've got better suggestions, glad to hear them.